have for you a band workout. Um, it's not going to be that long, um, but we're going to do the entire body. So things you can do if you don't have much time and you just need a really quick um, total body strengthening, um, just turn this on and we'll go for it. Um, if you want to make it a longer workout, um, you have different options. You can certainly add a little cardio um, at the beginning. Um, I'll actually give you a, kind of when we're halfway through a place where you could pause it, do a little more cardio, whether it's up on your step or just kind of doing half jacks or full jacks or running in place or whatever. You can add that component to it. The other thing you can do is, is you can run this through another time or three times. So you can do all, every set um, three times. So that would give you a total uh, good 45 minute workout. So um, we're just gonna count to 15 today um, and we'll go ahead and get started. Just need the one long band. Um, we're gonna kind of keep it simple. So we're gonna, just gonna start with an upright row. So you wanna be about hip width apart and cross it and then we're just gonna pull it up. So bring it up. Remember the elbows need to start first. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then just go ahead and just put it right on your hips here and you're gonna just drop it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Great. Then you're just gonna go ahead and flip your palms and just bring it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, keep those elbows close to your body. Eight, nine, full range. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Next, we're gonna work on the lateral leg, but what you need to do is you need to make sure you have enough space between in through the center here. Because if it's too tight, you're not gonna be able to even lift your leg up. So, I mean, you can keep it short. It's just gonna be really, you're not gonna get much movement. So we're just gonna take it out to the right. One, two, three, keep that toe pointed forward. Four, look straight ahead. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Great. If you want to uh, grab some water, this would be a good little water break. Or if you want to mix up some cardio, you can put this on hold, do a quick little cardio. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and get ready to move on to something different. Okay, so we're back. So let's go ahead and we'll work the glutes. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and slip this under your foot. It doesn't matter which foot you do first, right or left. And then your knee is gonna go on 
um, here to anchor it. So just make sure you get your knee lined up and then we're gonna push to the sky. One, two, look straight down. Three, once you know what the movement is, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. And then you're gonna need to go ahead and switch it to the other side. And you'll find easier ways of doing it for yourself. It also kind of depends on your shoe. And then you're gonna come over to the other side and anchor it down with your knee and then press up. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. All right. And then go ahead and get that out from your foot. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do um, chest. So you have options. If you have a way to anchor this around something, some sort of pole, um, it could be any kind of something. It could be uh, the post of your bed, maybe. Um, it could be, if you're doing this outside, it could be like a post um, for your porch or something like that. Um, so your option is if you're able to anchor it, it's a chest press. So what, you're, what you would do is go ahead and put it under here and press out for 15. If you do not have anything like that, and I'm going to count doing it the other way, is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna put it behind your back. And different ways of doing it behind your back, you can, if you put it behind your back and use the handles, it's gonna be too easy for you. Um, so you can wrap it around your hands or you can put it in half. It's up to you, um, depending on what you wanna do. So I'm just gonna wrap it. And then no matter what you're doing, how you're doing it, if you have it around a post or whatever, you wanna have a staggered stance. So put one in front of each other and you're just gonna keep just at chest level and press forward. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, next you're gonna be doing a deadlift. So what you wanna do is you wanna put the cord down on the ground and you're gonna step a little bit further than hip width apart. Um, but again, you wanna make sure you have enough slack in through here so you're actually able to lift it up. So just, you know, kind of start with it up and make sure you're able to get it up to your um, upper thighs area. So you're gonna hold on to it and now we're just gonna do our typical deadlift. So booty goes back nice straight back you can have a little bend in those knees and you're going to take it down and up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job. All right, next we're gonna do um, our lats. And so it goes back to like you did the chest. If you have something to wrap it around, you're gonna go ahead and wrap it around and you're going to pull it. So you'll take it, you want to be in like a squat position, and then you're going to just pull it 
right? So you're working this part of your back. So you wanna go ahead and bring those elbows right here. So you're really pulling those um, shoulder blades together. So, and you'll pull like that. If you don't have a pull, the other option is, is to pull down in front. So you're gonna go ahead and pull down like that. So I'm just gonna show you my back so you can see how the shoulder blades are gonna to come together much like you do. So you're gonna just bring it in. So really concentrate on bringing those shoulder blades together. So you wanna pull those elbows back. So you're working a little bit at your chest, but you really wanna focus on your back. So no matter whether you have it around the pole or not, here we go. We're going for 15. One, two, three. This is like the lat pull down machine that you see in the gyms. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job. All right, so next you're gonna do is you're gonna come down and you're gonna do bridge pose. So you're gonna take yourself, but you're gonna go ahead and take your band and put it across your hips so you have a little bit more resistance here. Um, and so you're just gonna lift it up. If you need more resistance, you can actually even fold this in half and bring it down and it's gonna give you a lot more resistance. So go ahead and get yourself into position and we're gonna go for 15. So bring it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. All right. This is another great uh, time to grab a gulp of water or shut off the uh, video here and throw in a little cardio. Okay. All right. Just need to have my cheat sheet here. I wouldn't want you to miss out on anything. All right. So we're going for triceps next. So what this is going to be is you're going to hold this in one hand and then the other hand holds back here. And you can control how hard it is gonna be for yourself depending on how far down you hold this down. So go ahead and, so you wanna have your upper arm parallel like with your head. And cause you don't wanna be like flying all over the place. You wanna really try to keep it nice and straight cause you're working this part of your upper arm. All right, so let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay? And then you're gonna come around to the other side. And it's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job. Calves are next. Um, you can use the band or not. Um, it's up to you. If you use the band, now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing heel lifts. So you need to make sure that the cord is really under the ball of your foot. Because when you lift the heels up, if that's where the band is, of course you're gonna whack yourself in the back. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and you can bring it up towards shoulder. That's gonna give you more resistance. If you want a little less, you can do it into your hips. Or like I said, you don't even need to use the band if you don't want to. So just come on up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15.
13, 14, and on 15, we're gonna hold it. So hold it up, a little balance challenge, really work those calves, and maybe little pulses, just really feel the back of the lower leg there. And just kind of balance it up and down. Good job. All right. Um, next, we're gonna work the obliques. So it's a side bend. So what you want to do is you want to choke it down pretty low so you don't have much band. So because when, you, when you're when you here, you should feel it's like trying to tug you down. So that's kind of how you know if it's um, tight enough for you or not. And go ahead and just bring the other arm up. If that doesn't feel comfortable, you can just hold it here. Um, it's up to you. And so it's down and up. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, and go ahead and switch. And down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, I'm gonna actually throw in another um, flat um, back muscle for you. Um, so again, you need to choke it down short, put yourself kind of in a staggered stance, and you're just gonna pull up from here. And again, take that elbow and try to drive it towards the, towards your spine. So you'll get a little bit more activation of your back here. So go ahead and pull it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. And go ahead and the other side. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. And next we have abs. And so we're gonna bring it down here and you can go ahead and put it under your feet and you can just take yourself into a boat pose so you can press it out. One, two, three, four, Five, a little baby shark here. Six, I don't know if you can hear it, but seven, eight. Remember the lower you go, the more it's gonna work those abs. And 10, and 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good, and while we're down here, let's do a couple more abs here while we're here. So tabletop legs, interlace back here, and just lift and lower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. And then go ahead and extend your legs up and you're gonna go to the opposite foot. 
So let's say one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and eleven, and twelve, and thirteen, and fourteen, and 15. Good job. All right. And then we're just going to go ahead for the lower abs. It's a little touch here and bring it up. If you want to add a little upper body, you can bring everything up and then everything down. So one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10, and 11, and 12, and 13, and 14, and 15. Good job. All right. Um, so if you, again, to make it longer, you could give yourself a nice cool down. Um, and so if you had a warm up at the beginning, you had to throw a little cardio in it, you do the bands, do a nice stretch, cool down. Um, and I actually think as I'm talking, I'll probably make a warm up cool down video. So you have that to refer to as well. So that's it for today. It's your band workout. It can be as quick as you need it, or you can make it longer. So thanks a lot. Have a great day.